Welcome to our training, Resolve Error 5665. While trying to add a new product to the Amazon store, you might encounter error code 5665. This error appears because you've entered a brand name in the brand name field that hasn't been approved by Amazon. We require all brand names to be approved before they can be used to list products. This helps ensure that only authentic products are listed in the Amazon store. It also helps protect the intellectual property or IP rights of brand and product owners. Let's review the two options brand owners have for requesting brand name approval and resolving error 5665. We'll also review how the owner of a generic product can list in the Amazon store without a brand name. The first way a brand owner can request approval is by enrolling their brand in Amazon Brand Registry. We recommend this option because, in addition to permitting use of a brand name in Amazon listings, enrollment unlocks a suite of selling benefits, including stores, a content, and sponsored brands. Enrollment in Brand Registry also gives brands greater control over their product detail pages and access to additional automated protections, programs, and reporting options. To enroll your brand, you need to meet a few basic requirements. You need to have your brand name or a logo that includes your brand name permanently affixed to your products or packaging. You also need an active registered trademark for your brand name or logo or a pending trademark application or registration in some cases. If you meet these basic requirements, visit brandservices.amazon.co.za to review country-specific requirements and enroll your brand. After your enrollment is approved, you can return to Seller Central and list your products using your registered brand name. It's also possible for brand owners to list products in the Amazon store by requesting approval for an unregistered brand name. An unregistered brand is one that isn't enrolled in brand registry. Importantly, this kind of brand still has its brand name or a logo that includes its brand name permanently affixed to its products or packaging. It doesn't need a trademark, however. The owner of an unregistered brand can request approval to list using their brand name by completing a selling application for catalog authorization in Seller Central. Click the link in the error 5665 message to access the selling application. On the application page, start by selecting the product types or categories you want to sell using your unregistered brand name. You can search using keywords or use the product classifier to find relevant categories. Next, upload at least one image of your brand name or logo on your products or packaging. Check the boxes on the application to confirm that the images you're uploading meet all the requirements. They should show a brand name or a logo that includes a brand name that exactly matches the brand name you're requesting approval for. The only differences permitted are for capitalization and spacing. Your images also can't be computer generated or have a brand name or logo that's been digitally added. They should show a brand name or logo permanently affixed to your products or packaging too. That usually means your brand name or logo has been printed, sewn, engraved, or attached in another way during production. Stickers, stamps, and other marks that can be easily added or removed don't meet these requirements. Your images also shouldn't show a brand name or logo that infringes on another brand's trademark. After you've uploaded your image files and checked each box to confirm they meet the requirements, enter an email address and consider entering a phone number in case we need to contact you with questions. Then click the Submit button to finish the application process. You can monitor the status of your selling application on your Selling Applications page in Seller Central. To access the page, hover over Catalog, then click View Selling Applications in the main menu. If your brand name is approved, you can then use it to list products. Note that listing products using an unregistered brand doesn't give you access to the same set of selling benefits and protection tools enjoyed by brands enrolled in Brand Registry. You also don't have the same level of control over your product detail pages. Note, too, that if an unregistered brand name is used as a brand name value for a product listing, that listing can only be associated with a registered brand later with help from seller support. A brand that originally lists products using an unregistered brand name and then enrolls in brand registry should contact seller support to sync their newly registered brand name with existing listings. 
Finally, if you're trying to add a product to the Amazon store that doesn't have a brand name or logo permanently affixed to it or its packaging, you can avoid error 5665 by listing the product generically. Instead of entering a brand name while creating a listing, the owner of this kind of non-branded product can select or enter generic as the brand name value. If you list a product generically, note that you won't have access to brand selling benefits and that your product detail page can be updated using suggestions from other sellers who match offers to the listing. Note too that after generic is used as a brand name value for a product listing, it can't be updated later. To associate a brand name with a product after it's been listed as generic, you must create a new listing. This concludes our training on Resolving Error 5665. We encourage you to search for the Amazon brand name policy in Seller Central for more information. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.